to adjust to the bottom now. Yeah. Well, it's amazing how nice the adjustments are on that siren just beautifully yeah. spinning with, I mean, after 130 mm. years, there's no, there's no uh, issues with it, even though it's probably been in some not the greatest condition. It probably needed a little bit of oil. But, well, yeah, but that was, there was no friction there. I mean, yeah. it just shows you how. Um, yeah, it's true. And this is just. I, I mean, this this is incredible to be able to go up and down without feeling any resistance. Yeah. You know, this brass slider. It's over, over just incredible. Time. You know, workmanship by by hand in his lab. So these were um, these were actually uh, the steel when I did a Vickers hardness test on it at. Um, uh, there was an archaeometallurgist that I was working mm -hmm. with at, at MIT and, and, the, and one at Yale too, but we did a arc, uh, Vickers hardness test. It was actually surprisingly soft and there was a little balance there. You know, if it's hard, I think you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but if it's, there's a balance between the efficiency of vibration, the Q, and also his ability to work with it. Mm -hmm. So if it's too efficient, then it, you would be hard to work with and he, he had to, he had to file it and, and, and work with these to fine tune them and get the precise you know, frequency. But at the same time, he wanted to, it to be an efficient vibration so it could keep vibrating um, and not dampen within like 10 seconds. Um, and when he filed it to, to actually do the precision um, you know, fine tuning, he'd have to wait a few days because the steel would be warm and that would throw off the frequency. Mm -hmm. He was at that level. Um, especially in the late 1870s, but so then he would um, he never would you know he would he would um, have a, a kind of a stock um, piece of steel he would cut out and then he would do a combination of some some heating and cooling and some even some blacksmithing um, and so this is all done by hand and with you know really fine workmanship.